everybody, it's Debbie here. Um, welcome back to my Crafty Den. I have a thrifted Thursday haul for you. I have a few items. I mostly hit up the glassware, the glassware section um, at my local thrift store this week because I'm looking for just a few pieces to add to my glass collection. Pieces that I can use in some garden art or um, projects and things like that. And I think I came out with a pretty good haul. Um, I have a couple pieces that I got just because I absolutely love them. And then the rest of the pieces are for my glass collection. So let's start with that, shall we? I just I have everything spread out in front of me. And so I found this um, glass water bottle with this. It's got it's got one of these tops on it, and I absolutely love it. I think it will be amazing for display. And this, it's not a really old bottle, I don't think, because this is just a printed label on the front. I think I can use some um, acetate nail polish remover and um, a sharp knife maybe and scrape or a razor blade and scrape this label off. So I'm pretty sure I can get this label off. And I think this will just make a great display bottle. So I paid a dollar for that. Um, I just love it. I absolutely love that piece. And I picked up a set of glass candle holders. Now, I paid $1.50 for this set. Um, there's a little wee bit of wax on them, but other than that, there's not a single chip. These are beautiful, and they're really, really heavy, uh, but they're absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful but they weigh a ton um, at first when I picked them up I thought they were crystal I don't think that they are they don't sound like crystal but they're heavy like crystal so I'm I'm not sure what kind of glass if there's different kinds of glass but yeah these are like ridiculously heavy so there's two of those and I picked up some I'll just kind of put these together so I picked up these were all that was 50 cents a dollar and a dollar so I picked up this little round kind of tulip shaped um, glass piece. I'm not sure it was 50 cents, but I like the cut of the glass. I like the lines and I think this will make a great centerpiece for a, a garden flower. And the other two items I picked up because they would make great centerpieces for a nice garden flower as well. So look at this. Look at the cut in the top of this. And it's quite heavy. It's flat on the bottom, so it'll glue on quite well. Um, this piece was a dollar, but yeah, this is going to make a garden flower. This will absolutely, like, it'll just be a garden flower. And this little uh, fruit nappy style dish um, stemmed piece, it has this beautiful crystal cut bowl, and I think that you know on the front of a piece this will look really amazing or depending I'm not sure I think because this is flat I would glue it here but I was also in the store thinking that what if you glued it like this and then had this coming out of the center um, it might be pretty that way too but because of this little bit of a ribbed edge here I'm not sure if I'd glue that down I'll have to wait and see when I'm working with it but definitely it's definitely the center of a flower so I got those three pieces for that and so I'm gonna set them back out of the way I've decided that just putting everything on my tabletop 
and working through it is an easier way to show this kind of stuff. So I was just looking for some odds and ends of plates that would make nice backings for flowers. Like for instance, I bought this little saucer. It's called Rose Chintz by Johnson Brothers. Um, a genuine made, genuine hand engraving, it says. But it's just, I, I just bought it because it was a saucer. It didn't have a cup that went with it. But it's pretty. It's just this whole pink floral bit is pretty. And when I saw it with this, I'm thinking, this is how I pick my pieces out. But see that? Isn't that pretty? Absolutely gorgeous. And with one of my larger pink plates in the background and then this, pretty pink instant flower. So thinking flowers, I tend to just go through and grab pieces and do things like this. Um, this piece I think would be too big, but it would be nice on a larger plate. So, but yeah, so that's how I, that's how people are asking me, one of the, that's one of the questions people were asking me, how do I choose my pieces to go together? There's no rhyme or reason, I just stick them together and see if they look nice. I found this plate and it's painted on the background, but this, this ridge right here isn't painted, so it'll have a good something to glue to. Um, and when I say painted, I mean it has something on the back of it to add color. But this is just, let's see if I can sh get it shining in the light the right way, I'm not sure. It kind of, it looks like this. But the color is actually on the back. So this piece was, I believe this piece was 50 cents. So I think it was in the, the pile with the saucers and they were 50 cents. And I found there were a lot of plates there, but most of them were sets of plates. And I hate, like if there's six plates or eight plates at the thrift store and they're marked at so much money a piece, but I hate to take them because I, I just hate to break up the sets. Um, I feel guilty when I do that. But this plate was a dollar and it's called Gloria, hi Gloria, it's called Gloria Fine Porcelain from West, Western, Western Germany and it says Brilliant Gold and that is stamped in gold on the back. And it was a dollar and the gold, the gold in this part here is worn really, really well. This plate was well used and well loved, um, but it still shines nice and bright. Look at that, when it sh how it shines when the light shines on it. I'm trying to tip it so, oh, it even reflects way and I can see it reflecting way back in my curtains, but Look at how stinking gorgeous this plate is. Like if I just put this in my garden on a garden stake, it would make a flower all by itself. But, now let's see if I can find a little piece here. Well, I'll just use this for an example. If I could find a nice little piece to go in the center of it and say this is pink, kind of to match that flowers, that's, kind of what I would look for because this is just a beautiful this is just gonna make a beautiful background piece it is so so pretty so that I only bought those three plates two saucers and one plate like I said I have a hard time breaking up sets I found this little leaf plate now it's just plain glass um, but there were two of them and when I got out to the till I said I think a dollar is too much for that little plate and so she gave them to me for both for for uh, a dollar for both of them but look at how pretty these are like this or even like this 
So I've been um, on Pinterest. They have these beautiful glass angels. And it's usually a bottle with something round on the top for the head. And then they'll take two identical pieces and put them back to back like this or glue them down the back like this to mimic wings. And I was thinking these would make a wonderful set of wings on a garden angel. So that hopefully will be an upcoming project. I kind of have to find the rest of the pieces. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, so that's it for the... Oh, no, I've got a few more little pieces. I picked up this little egg cup, and it just has pink roses on it. Like even something like that will go in the center of something like this. They're just cute, cutesy little pieces. And I picked up, it actually still has the bell in it. Um, it says it was, I got it for 25 cents. There's a dollar tag on it, but it's, there was a bunch of bells and it said um, 25 cents each. So this actually says it came from Kmart. Kmart hasn't been open for many, many years in Canada. And it was $2.97. So it was $3 at Kmart when it first... I wish I could read the... Um, the oh, yeah, maybe. I wish I could read the key. There's always a key on these price tags that let them know what the date was when they put it on the shelf. And this looks like it may have been January the 22nd, 1985. It absolutely might have been. So anyway, I got that little bell. And I'm thinking that this little bell might be the crown at the top of a stacked um, totem piece, a glass totem. So that, that's it for the glass art stuff that, to go into my collection. And then I have a few items that I picked up for decor. I picked up this. It's filthy, but it is a honey pot. Now, I plan on cleaning this up. I'm not going to put honey in it. It'll just be for decor. But I loved that it was this white porcelain kind of material and that it matches my Ray Dunn stuff. So I think I will just decorate this a little bit and use it in one of my displays. So I bought that. That's a nice small little piece that can be displayed out with different things. And I got, I bought two of these flower pots. What did I pay for these flower pots? Oh, $1.50. Look at this black and white buffalo check pattern and trimmed in gold. These I bought the, I'm not going to have to paint these. I'm not going to have to do anything to these. It's already done. The, um, the little trim gold paint and the buffalo check looks like it's been glued on, but I'm sure it came that way because it's absolutely perfect. And I got the two of them and they're identical, but I'm thinking, um, one on each end table. Christmas with poinsettias to put my pots of poinsettias in here. They would like absolutely stunning. For some reason this black and white check is Christmassy to me or wintry at least. So a couple of poinsettias in there and set out in the winter would be absolutely stunning. Just beautiful. And down to my three favorite items I got. I found I've been on the hunt for these. And at my store, they sell them for a buck a piece. And you know what they are. I mean, I actually have three of them that are almost the same on my ceiling fan, except that they're usually frosted. And I've been on the hunt for some clear ones. So I found three of these. So I got three of them for $3. 
and I probably won't do this as a DIY or anything just because it's so simple but I have the tops of these little tiny dollar store they're a buck a piece these um, and they stick into the ground the little solar light stakes but if you take the stake off and you just keep the light fixture you can hot glue you see how easy that fit in there just just look so you can just put some hot glue around that fixture and seal it against the rain and then you just take I'm going to take that out before it falls off and then this has a little lip here because that's what it would hang on to I will wrap some wire around here and make a wire handle that comes up and over the solar light and then I will hang these outside and when they light up this whole because the glass will catch the light and reflect it it'll make the light look bigger and brighter and yeah these are gonna look really sweet hung out in my yard so that's what I'm gonna do with those three pieces I mean I wish I found more I have um, I have about 14 of these little solar lights left and those sprinkled all throughout the trees and stuff in my yard would have looked absolutely gorgeous so I found another lamp this is a baby lamp look at how really tiny this is it is so stinking cute and it was four dollars there's no chips no cracks all the elements seems to work this part works it turns up and down everything seems to be in working order on it and the bowl the oil bowl has these I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not maybe there but it has these little birds flying around it so I have I don't know what it is about me and, and uh, oil lamps lately, but I've been on the hunt for them. I've got three of them now, so I guess I'm collecting. Um, I guess there's worse things that I could collect, but yeah, that one is really cute. So right now, all three of them that I've got have are like they, they're like stepping stone, like stairs. They're one's bigger, one's smaller, and then this one will be the smallest, and then. The next piece, and this is my last piece, the next piece, I paid $8 for this. I don't think I've ever paid $8 for anything. I think $4 is like my top price to pay for anything at a thrift store or a yard sale or anything like that. Four or five bucks is usually my limit on an item but um, I saw this and it's well worn and partly there's a part missing but it's so awesome so I do this farmhouse slash cottage decor everything's kind of eclectic and mixed up and it's not put together yet I haven't got anything done but um, yeah so my decor is a little bit eclectic but for that farmhouse cottage style I found this now this is heavy heavy glass this was a working washboard but it's just a little one like it's a small one and the backer piece that goes I'll show you the back so right here this is broken and that would have been covered in solid this down to about here and it probably would have had the name um, on it so I plan on taking the part off that's broken and replacing this little piece with a piece of wood and maybe stenciling something here on the front of this and repairing this but um yeah it's it's gorgeous look look it's just <laughs> I'm so excited I was excited when I found it I was excited when I got home and I took it out of the bag and I lo looked at it for the second time 
and I'm excited again now looking at it again and when something um, when something excites you and brings you joy when you just look at it then that to me that's how you decide if you're gonna bring it home or not so yeah this piece brings me lots of joy and it will be displayed in my home um, one day I would love to get to my laundry room and do a complete laundry room makeover that's gonna be in the not the near future because it works the way it is it just isn't as pretty as I'd like it to be but this will be displayed somewhere in my home and uh, it'll because it brings me joy it'll have a place where I can see it often so that is my thrift store haul this week I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you're new here then welcome and thanks for sticking around and watching this video and thank you so much to all my returning viewers um, I appreciate each and every one of you every time you watch one of my videos so have a really wonderful week everybody and I will see you in the next video bye bye for now